Did you know stories are 22 times more memorable than facts alone? In fact, a study by Stanford University found that our brains are hardwired to respond to storytelling, making it a powerful tool in sales. But not only that, why would you want to do storytelling in sales? Well, because it could increase your sales by a whopping 30% just by telling a better story. Now imagine transforming your pitch into a captivating narrative that resonates deeply with your audience. How would the mastering storytelling change your approach to sales? Hey, it's Tom Jacobs here. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of storytelling. One of my favorite things to do, and probably that's my theater background talking, but I love storytelling. But this isn't just about spinning a good yarn. It's about wielding a narrative that hooks your audience, tugs at their heartstrings, and drives them straight to that proverbial buy now button. In a world that's flooded with facts and figures that are quite frankly, very boring, storytelling cuts through the noise. It creates unforgettable moments that resonate deeply with your audience on a personal level. Imagine transforming your pitch from a bland monologue into a riveting saga, not only grabbing the attention of your audience, but also building lasting connections with them. So stick around as we explore how crafting a compelling story can turn your sales strategy from ordinary and quite frankly boring to extraordinary. Let's turn those sales pitches into epic tales. Now, why don't people do more storytelling if it in fact increases sales so much? Well, I'll tell you why, because most people, most salespeople are a little lazy and creating story takes some work to do, but it pays off over and over and over again. It's one of those things that you do once, perfect it, and then just use it over and over again. Those stories don't change necessarily, but when you spend the time to craft a really good story, your audience is going to feel that and you're going to benefit from making more sales. And there's a lot of misconceptions about storytelling. It's more than just a narrative. It's actually a strategic tool that can transform any sales interactions. By weaving compelling tales, businesses can forge deeper connections with their customers, drive engagement, and ultimately boost revenue. So let's explore several key ways storytelling can revolutionize your sales approach. First of all, it's that emotional connection that you create between the storyteller and the listener. When you share a personal story, that creates a lot of emotions and a connection with your audience and with your prospective client. They now get to know you at a personal level. And even if you're doing B2B sales, we do business with other people. It's human to human. And when we can make it a lot more personal, that other human is going to know, like, and trust you and is ultimately going to be more likely to buy from you. One way to make this easy is to conduct customer surveys or interviews your top five customers and understand what their emotional journey has been by working with you. And then you can use storytelling techniques like character development and conflict resolution and incorporate personal anecdotes or customer testimonials. And that's one very easy way of creating great stories that connect with your ideal customer. In a world where there's so much competition, we have to differentiate ourselves. And one of the best ways is with story. So coming up with your brand's unique story and value proposition. I know everybody in sales has their value proposition, but do you have your brand story? Why are you in business? Why do you do what you do? All of that can create a really nice narrative that highlights your competitive advantage. And a great way of starting with this is doing an audit of your own unique selling points. And from that audit, now you can create a brand story that is consistent across all marketing channels. And then you can use that storytelling to position your brand as a solution to specific customer problems. And when you're using storytelling on social media, you're gonna see increased engagement. People love to hear great stories. And when you craft those compelling narratives with strong characters and engaging plots like a blockbuster Hollywood movie, it makes it very engaging for the audience. And one way of creating great stories is using one of my resources. It's called the Storybook. And if you go to my website, 
tomjacobs.com slash storybook, you can download that and it's going to help you create your own personal story. And of course, one of the key benefits of storytelling is to build that trust and credibility with your audience and with your prospect. Being authentic and transparent in your storytelling is essential for creating that connection with your prospect. And you'll want to share both your successes and your failures because oftentimes it's those failures that people love to hear more than those successes. You know how we all like to see those train wrecks, right? So use real life examples and case studies because this is going to further emphasize the importance of your prospect investing in your program when they can see what other people have been able to accomplish by going through your program. And when you have a really great story about that client that was where that prospect is now and transformed into something completely different, they're going to be inside that story with you, which further builds that trust and credibility that you need in order to make the sale. One of the benefits of creating stories in your sales presentations, especially if you're selling something that's a little bit complex, is that a story can simplify and make it easier to understand exactly what your program is all about and what the benefits are for that prospect. You know, simplifying those complex ideas is really important in order to get people to make a decision. Because when things are a little bit too complex, what do you think they're going to say? Oh, I need to think about it, right? And then you know for sure it was too complex and you need to simplify. And stories are a great way to simplify complex issues. If you've ever been to a talk and somebody's been going over facts and figures, most likely you've forgotten what they said and what those facts and figures were in a matter of minutes. However, if they wrapped all of that in with a story that had plot points and turns and twists and was very engaging, then people are going to remember that a lot more than just the facts and figures. It's just hardwired into our brain. We love stories and we're going to remember them. And this last point might be a little surprising that storytelling in sales would be able to inspire and motivate somebody, but absolutely it is possible to do that. And that's really what sales is all about, is inspiring and motivating your prospect to take action, the desired action that they need to solve their problem, which ultimately is working with you and investing in your program so that they can solve their problem. Now, whether you implement one or all of these tips, you will start to be more effective in your communication with your prospects because that power of storytelling enhances that relationship with your potential customers and builds that bond where they know, like, and trust you and ultimately will purchase from you. If you're not already incorporating storytelling into your sales strategies, I implore you to start doing it. It's not as hard as you might think it would be. And in fact, I have a free resource that I would love for you to download that's going to help you start that process of creating your own personal story. And once you've done that, now you'll have that framework where you can create additional stories, which will further increase your sales. So go ahead and download that storybook. The link is down in the description. Grab that right now and start developing your stories and see your sales soar. And until next time, have a great day.